Hey guys, my name is Simsy. Welcome back to some more Empire Total War Darth Maul. We're playing as the United States, so let's get straight right into it. In today's episode, we're going to be pushing against the Cherokee Nations, pushing against these two settlements. Obviously, we did lose a full stack to them. They did outnumber us by 10, or they did have 10,000. But, now we've come back with three armies, and we're going to put these natives to the sword. So, let's do that now. First things first. We come with one, we lose. Now we have three, so we're going to be able to tear them up, hopefully. Easy victory here. Do outnumber them quite significantly. Deployed over 10,000 Americans, and the Cherokee deployed 2,620. So, only lost just under 700, so it's a nice victory, if I do say so myself. Unfortunately, the natives did take... It was Williamsburg, Virginia, and they did take... Um, Charleston. So, obviously, they have been knocked back, um, pretty hard. But, um, we're going to continue to push against the Cherokee Nations. Now? Okay, so we've got a lot more movement range than what I th originally thought. We're going to go straight for their capital, start sieging it out. Because we are actually... I swear we're in range. Oh. Regardless, that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. Once we finish with the Cherokee, we're going to push up north here and take out um, some more natives. Now, obviously, we've still got the British in the north with Moose Factory, York Factory. The Plains Nations are actually allied with the French and so are we, so we can't take that. But we're probably going to be able to take Texas here. Villa d'Orbexa, I think that's how you say it, but obviously uh, Lower Louisiana, Upper Louisiana. We're going to be able to take Upper, we're not going to be able to take Lower though. And... Spain, who is also my allies, holds most of Central and South America. But um, still got a while before we push against the British. And obviously, they don't actually have any colonies in India. Oh, they do. They do. They've lost their Bengali sort of region here. But they do have a region here. So I would like to push against them at some point. They still obviously have uh, the United Kingdom, Edinburgh, Scotland. Sorry, Edinburgh, Ireland, London. I said Scotland twice. But, not much else we can do this turn. Uh, technologies wise, what are we researching? Obviously, because I'm playing a late campaign, we do have a lot of the technology, so I basically just want to go back into agriculture to speed things up, put money back into the economy. Ah, okay, we're going bankrupt. We're spending way too much money on our army. That is why 439 per turn, so it's not actually overly that much. Uh, I'm trying to think what we could get sacrifice here. We do have a pretty decent army here. How much do these cost per turn? Okay. Philadelphia, we might get rid of them. Even though... 100 per turn. So we, we just have enough here. We will be losing more troops when we take these settlements. But uh, guys, if you still are enjoying this United States campaign, please leave a like. I'd really much appreciate it. Do put a lot of effort into my videos. And a simple like really does go a long way. Subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with future campaigns on my channel. Or in particular, if you want to see more of the United States, it's a good way to keep up to date with me. As always, social media links are in the description below, as I'm on like a sort of a shout-out sort of thing. Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, all in the description below. So the Ottomans sometimes take a little bit while. It was like the first three turns, they took about 30 seconds, but now I'm actually just blasting through their turns. But we'll take out the Cherokee Nations, which now should be a little bit easier. Let's have a look. I think we've got a new president as well. Lawrence. Yes, we do. How are my... Yeah, my army's not really too good. We probably should kick him out. Can't kick any more men out. Right. Let's actually attack the capital here. I obviously want to rally my troops back up. We obviously can't afford to pay, so we're doing the best way of just rallying them up. This is the quickest way, I think. I do apologise if there's a bit of a noise. But I want my line infantry to be at full strength when we attack. So we're going to fight with this army. The other one doesn't have... Oh, no, they all got artillery. Regardless, let's besiege the Cherokee. I don't know, does it help stats moving them further up? Keeping them sieging as well. Does it improve the odds? But looking at that, 
against the natives. We do outnumber them once again quite significantly. We do over we do have over ten thousand. Well, not too many natives, but water resolve victory lost a thousand. They deploy six hundred. Easy victory, if I do say so myself. We can push against them. So we've taken one of the Cherokees' territory. Obviously, we haven't got enough money to hold it. But this army, sorry, this settlement is getting a fair amount of income per turn. Fantastic. Let's push against the last. And officially finish off the Cherokee. Want to put them on tax. They're only making a, a thousand. But not that much. Nation destroyed. Cherokee nations. Region captured. So now, we'll rally back up. And we need to push against the other native faction. This seems to be my best army. So we'll rally back up once more. As saying these guys have a fair amount of decent chevron units now we'll make them in command so two lots of ca uh two lots of cavalry four uh, sorry two lots of artillery we probably want one more lot of cavalry i would prefer so the regiment of horse they can move up now um upper louisiana i'll push against those settlements there they are actually invading me there we're making a lot more per turn. We've turned. And we're going to need to repair. Um, we'll rally these guys back up. We'll probably split the full stack down here. If not. Alright. Who's my be better commander here? 44 years of age. 69, so he's my better commander. We'll make the best army here. And then we'll see... What else we're working with? Decent line infantry in this army. A lot more cavalry which is prepared to fight. Um, four lots of cavalry, two lots of artillery. Perfect. Move you there. That's still not really happy. Minus 12, minus 4. Minus 10. Minus 8. Obviously it is the capital we can't seem to repair anymore. We are still exempting them from tax. Minus 4. We're going to need probably 4 more units back. But we can't actually send any. Well, we're going to have to do a save. But we'll start pushing against some more of our enemies. Let's just hope they don't push over. The Barbary States want a peace treaty. There's no way in hell I'm going to get a peace treaty with you. No need, even... I don't know. I think you get some negative traits if you do actually... Make peace with them. I don't know. I don't really care. However, I could... Use the money, but... If we ever go to war with them, we already start a war with them. It might be cool to push into their settlements in Northern Africa or something or other. Uh, enemy raid New Haven. But now, work us on strike the Cherokee Territory. Yeah, it's because obviously we didn't have enough money. We actually only narrowly survived a... a... Um, what's it called? A debt crisis. Right. Let's, what's the garrison looking like here? Not too much. Not too much there. We did get raided here, though. I reckon we could take those three territories out quite quickly. But obviously, I don't want to lose the ones we've recently just taken. Minus three. None. Obviously, this is the better army. I guess it's not a, necessarily that much of a bad thing, leaving four lots of line infantry there. Obviously, that stables it. Once my priest... What's their religion? 100% Protestant. Oh, wow. That's why, then. We'll get my smaller army of the two to run, the, to run them down. Easy victory. Right. Do we push upon Upper Louisiana? Detroit? What way do we swing around? 
I think we can sort of defend there into the population. I think we need to push up here because I don't want the same thing to happen. What happened at Williamsburg and obviously Charleston. So, what I'm going to do is, hopefully we haven't lost too many men. I'm going to keep an eye on that. No, let's push straight through to their territory. Alright, looks good. Getting 2,000 per turn now. How's our public order? Not too good here. It's because we lost all our fucking state buildings. Slowly upgrading them. Once they've been repaired, we've got to convert them. Just had to have a quick sip of water. My apologies. So easy for enemies to raid this game because you just have so many towns about. Bankrupt. Brilliant. Nation destroyed. That should help somewhat. Protestants is, com uh, Protestants is coming back up, which is good. Let's take Detroit, I think. Oh, wow. Who took that? Austria? What? How? How has Austria claimed a land? Have they taken... They've taken Lu Upper Louisiana as well. Was that a trade swap? How the hell have they taken those settlements? There's no way they would have... They're a landlocked nation, surely. Ah, they did too, those fucking bastards. They gave them Zagreb in Croatia, that's why. So the Confederacy, the native Indians, have actually fled to Europe. They're at Zagreb in Croatia. They got one settlement. That's actually quite smart. Now the Austrians have Upper Louisiana. Alright, what's our relationship with Austria? Well, we can get trade rights. Probably should be appearing offline, actually. I didn't think about that. Um, Austria's allies with Russia, Savoy. They're at war with France. Hmm. Ah, oh, shit. We still can get some more trade rights. So it might be an idea to get trade rights with the Mughal Empire. I like to get trade rights with fairly unorthodox sort of fas uh, factions, such as Persia if I can. No. The further away, and the more unique, the more money we can get. Yeah, I don't know. What about major factions, trade rights-wise? I don't want to trade with Great Britain. I don't necessarily want to trade against Austria, because we're actually going to have to go to war with them, because I want those settlements. And like I said, they're only a landlocked nation. There's no way they're going to be... There's not going to be that much repercussions. It's just a shame that that, that has had to happen. Now, we can't actually get to Detroit... There's no way we can actually go through without trespassing through Austria's lands. Because all the way through is through Austria. Man, that sucks. Right. Well, it looks like we're going to have to push through this way. Now they only have one territory, two territories. There's no way we can actually eliminate the faction. We're about to go bankrupt to fucking again. 3,000 per turn. Can we take the... That'll help us a bit. That'll help us a bit as well. Ah, it's because this trading port has been taken. If we use a ship, can we take them... Get rid of them? No, we're only technically blocking the port, aren't we? We could send... 
Four units down. Not like we could repair it. Get rid of the savages out of the port. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to repair. Uh, I'm trying to think how we can work this. So I don't want to go into debt. Obviously. Losing 1,000 per turn. Fuck. We are recruiting magistrates. We can obviously delay that. That'll give us 1,000. We still need 200 to create. Maybe just disbanding this lot of infantry for the time being. Still only 700. We should be right now. We still got a thousand in the bank. Once we repair the fort, peace treaty with the Barbary states. I might actually have to make a peace treaty with the uh, the Indians here. Mind you, the Austrian territories won't have very big garrisons. That's really interesting, though. That they've gone and done that. Natives fleeing to Europe. Never heard of that one. Right, let's go and attack the, the settlement. Well, there's no way we can actually get attacked from the south here, so once the population is okay, but these priests are going to have to help us. Obviously contain the populace. Um, how bad is it when we move out? Minus 17. Okay, looks like we're most definitely going to have to leave this army here. Still losing a fair amount per turn. We need to repair that. And I guess to spare more units. 120. Once we fix that supply line, that will help. I guess we might have to afford going bankrupt per one turn. Once that's repaired, our, our supply lines will open back up and we will be able to get more money. But a very interesting development. We finished the Cherokee and Austria has a foothold in North America. Who were their allies again? Great Britain, Russia, Savoy. Oh wow, Great Britain just allied with them. Uh, Genoa. Interesting. Who likes us? Russians, France, and Spain, the Ottomans. Fair enough. And obviously, by repairing that simple dock, our supply lines are back open. We really want to take this town back if we can. These just simple raiding parties are getting quite annoying. Right, what's the garrison here? Not too big, we should be able to take it quite easily. Might have to starve them out a bit. But never mind. Right, what are we else are we working with here? 100% Protestant. I'll move you back out. It's because we haven't got a church here at the moment, that's why. So, the only religious influence we have is from directly from my priest. Ah, oh, it's a fucking shame that they had to give them Upper Louisiana and Detroit. I could actually do a trade actually. I could offer them peace and I could give them back their capital for Zagreb or something that might be quite cool. That would give us a foothold in Europe, I don't know. I want to, tr like I said, I want to try consolidate my hold on North America. But the thing is, obviously, there's Great Britain, which is going to be very hard to take down, which I will do eventually. Even though I'm allies with Spain, I kind of want their lands a bit, and France. 
A new nation arises. The United Provinces have been destroyed. Really? Huh. Who's taken Prussia? Prussia's taken Amsterdam and Cologne. Prussia's been pushing quite well. Poland, Lithuania has nearly been destroyed. The Russians are pushing in quite heavily. What about India? Marathian rebels at Bengal. Interesting. Alright, let's push against some more Native Americans. Yeah, we're still quite favoured to win, but I will want to try starve them out as much as possible. Alright. Let's have a look back for trade rights. I don't know if we should get trade rights with them. But we will get trade rights with the Moo... Uh, no. Poland. We should get trade rights with Prussia. How about Prussia? 1,500. I'll offer you... Not even 1,000. I'll offer you 500. As a token of good faith. There's no way I'm doing that, buddy. Poland's about to be wiped out. What are some minor nations? Hanover, Italian states. Mamluk, Mamluks. Military alliance, no. Morocco. Napoli and Sicily. 1500. They all just want money out of me. Or an alliance, which I don't actually want. Portugal. Huh. Accepted. Good, the Portuguese are on point. Venice. The Merchant of Venice. 1500. We'll offer you 500, maybe. Oh, no. I'm not giving them any technologies. Right, let's continue to siege. What's happening down here? We need to wait for like the population to sort of surplus. What can we upgrade here that will help public order? Like the town, nothing really. We have to wait to update these sort of regions. Nah. Right, we're still making 2,000 per term and we do need to re-up uh, upgrade the the regions we lost such as Williamburg, Williamsburg. We do need to repair as well. If we can. We'll continue the siege. And then we'll take it in this episode. Mozart's dead. Another clear victory. 276 men lost. Awesome. And now, we've taken them out of, well, as much as we can in North America. That is... It's a shame that we can't get them at Detroit. I think we can't even get there by sea either. So let's offer them peace. Trade agreement. Give them New York. We're not going to give you New York. I'll give you a trade agreement though. I'm not going to give you New York. I'm happy to give you some, yeah, maybe a payment of a thousand. How about that? No. Okay, it looks like we're going to be still at war with them. But I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Please leave a like to support this series and my channel pushes my videos on my channel out that exposes me to new subscribers be greatly appreciated and speaking of subscribers if you haven't subscribed already do so to keep up to date with this series right 
So we've taken three territories in today's part. The Austrians have set a footing in North America. We can't seem to get to the last of the Confederacy. They have one... I can't believe they got Zagreb in Croatia. That's fucking bullshit. Now, obviously, because it's landlocked, we can't actually get to it. We can't even get to it by sea. So we might as well go to peace with them. Or maybe we should go to war with Austria. But... Obviously, declaring war on Austria means we're going to be going to war with Great Britain. So, yeah. I don't know. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how this campaign goes. But uh, nevertheless, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.